on this project and kind of how did the idea of Free Guy originate? Well, I think, you know, Sean and I had been wanting to work together for a long time. We'd kind of had a couple of really near misses. Uh, and, but you know, it's one of those great lessons where you just don't close the door to somebody if you're not gonna work together. Anyway, I read this script called Free Guy and the first person I thought of uh, said no. <laughs> and uh, no, uh, <laughs> my, the first person I thought of was, was this man right here and I, I sent it over to Sean, uh, he read it, and I think it was just like an hour later, you were like, I'm in. Yeah, and well, I, like everybody in this room, I'm just a mad fan of Ryan Reynolds. I mean, the guy, and so, so as Ryan said, w we came close to doing a few movies together in the past, and even though he broke my heart, uh, I literally took all those feelings and just shoved them deep down inside, and, uh, it gave me a chance for this moment to happen. When I describe the world of Free City to people, it's kind of like Grand Theft Auto meets Fortnite. You guys get those references, some, some pretty major games. But it's not just the world of Free City that you've created. There's also the real world that you have as you know its own visually distinct area. Talk to me, Sean, about kind of creating these two elements and having them work together. Yeah, so it toggles back and forth between the real world and the world of Free City, which is the name of the video game in the movie, it's called Free City. And so we created some pretty strict rules for ourselves so that you guys as an audience would never be confused about which world you were in. So the world inside Free City is very saturated in color. The frames are clean and wide angle. We used um, a large format, Alexa 65 to shoot with. Some Alexa um, 65 fans yeah. out there. <laughs> um, I'm Actually, and, and I know that Matthew Vaughn mentioned that Kingsman was sh used, they shot that using the same lenses as Lawrence of Arabia. Our, our lenses shot uh, Fantastic Four as well. And, and they just killed, and actually they never broke down once. Those, those can take a licking, I'll tell you that much. It was really great. <laughs> yeah, so so we use those cameras inside a video game, and then the real world um, is much more handheld. We shot it on a regular Alexa 35 with anamorphic lenses, um, and it's just messier operating, messier frames, um, because real life is messy, but the world inside the game is a little more aspirational, a little more heightened reality. Yeah. Jody, in this, you play two different versions kind of of the same character as well. You have Millie and then you have Molotov Girl, which is kind of your avatar within Free City. Talk about how you created these two versions of the same character to be pretty different from each other, but still have that same um, root base of being Millie. Yeah, I mean, there were a lot of conversations with Sean at the, the start of this process. And I think the biggest thing for me was the physicality of her. Um, obviously, we had the help of the incredible hair and makeup department, but when we first meet Millie, she's quite defeated by the world, and, and her avatar, uh, Molotov, is so empowered. Um, so there's a real distinct difference in the way that they move. Um, there's also an accent filter within the game, so they speak very differently, which, um, which you will hear. But um, what I thought was interesting was there's always an influence of Millie within Molotov. You know, there's this kind of wish fulfillment that we live out, whether it be social media or through a video game, you know, we create these avatars of a version of ourselves as to how we would like to be perceived. Um, so yeah, it was interesting to flip between the two of them. Joe, I heard Ryan give you quite a compliment yesterday, which was that no one delivers exposition <laughs> as eloquently as you do in, in this scene and in this movie. He's very kind in saying so. <laughs> he delivers ex exposition better than anyone I've ever seen in my life. You make it like entertaining and riveting, all the while looking like a goddamn snack. 
There we go. Right? I, yeah, I think that was, uh, you know, one of the, uh, coming into the project, that was one of the parts that I was uh, most excited about and nervous about, just having to deliver all of this information and kind of the background of the game and sort of what had happened uh, prior to the story starting. Um, and it actually turned out to be one of the um, one of my favorite parts about working on this project. I, I, I'd say. As the people who are in the real world and also can control Free City, talk a little bit about the fun of getting to have um, one version of the character feed into the other and almost being like superheroes, right, within the world of Free City because you have that control with a keyboard in the real world. Yeah, I mean, uh, keys and mouse sort of get to manipulate the world as we're inside of it, which is really exciting. Uh, when we run into Guy and we're trying to sort of apprehend him, we, uh, we're literally playing the keys and moving the world all around him to create obstacles and, and problems for him to try and catch him, and it just so happens that uh, we are may be able to do so. I was like, wait, is this a giant spoiler? <laughs> um, any gamers, you're gonna see there's so many callbacks to the games that we know and love, and I don't wanna give any of them away because they're so special. And we have a lot of people from the gaming community that you're gonna be really excited to see in this film as well. It's definitely as somebody who loves this world, who's like on a headset, you know, fighting with or playing with, you know, 13 to 90 year olds every night for hours on end to my wife's chagrin is um, yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd be at this movie day one to see it in the theater. So I'm just really grateful to be a part of it. Now, Rel, obviously this is a big movie filled not just with comedy, but a ton of special effects as well. But I am curious to hear from you, what was kind of the comedic strategy on set and, and where was the room for improv within these bigger set pieces as well? Well, Sean did a good job of like, I mean, like directing that like I didn't have to like just do a bunch of random stuff but I think once you like got into the world of the action like you can see stuff on the script but then when you see like behind you and that's what y'all gonna see that's fascinating outside of just watching the main characters watch everything that goes on behind us so like we could be walking down the street and then like you may see a random explosion but we act like oh, I see this every day no big deal so like to like to see that in person, I'm a big movie fan. And I was told Sean, it's the first time we met. To see how all that happens was really fascinating, especially as a comedian, to see all these like explosions and uh, robberies happening. All this stuff is happening as we just walk down the street casually, like it's not a big deal. So I thought that was fascinating. I think, you know, it was fun to like collaborate with Ryan Reynolds, man. I'm a big fan, so like, like one of my favorite movies is definitely Maybe. I know it's random. Deep cut, wow. I love that movie. Thank so to like actually, I remember the first day filming with Ryan and he did like one of his like cool, sarcastic Ryan Reynolds lines. <laughs> and I was just staring at him and I had a line. It was like, real, you have a line. Oh! <laughs> I was looking at his eyes as he delivered comedy. <laughs> uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> so this was a dream come true to work with Ryan and to do it in an action comedy was so much fun, man. So thanks for letting me be a part of this. When Ryan actually came across the script Free Guy and called me up, he's like, I think I might have found the perfect thing for us to do together. And so we met, this was like summer of last year, and uh, we, we saw the same movie in our heads, and it's yeah. been a ridiculously easy and fun collaboration. You know, the movie's about a, a bank teller who wakes up and finds out that he's a background player in a video game, like in a crazy, violent, insane video game. And I think that that's also something that people look around these days and they think, you know, they're watching the news or they're just wandering outside of their house. They just, sometimes it feels a little bit like that. You got, you, got, you pinch yourself because you, this can't be actually real like or happening. So. You feel like you're just kind of a passenger on this ride that you have no control over and it can feel overwhelming and you can we can all feel powerless right like in life in this world in these times so this movie that is yes set inside a video game is also about taking control of your life having an impact on your world yeah. and those themes were really kind of juicy and compelling to Ryan yeah. and I I don't think I've been in, as invested in anything uh, uh, sin th this much since Deadpool. So for me, it's, a, it's one of those things where all the eggs are in the basket. I'm super excited to uh, unleash this on the world and have this open everywhere. And I know Sean is, and it's just yeah, a story and, we love telling. And so. it's literally, we have never shown any footage 
or talked about the movie much for anybody until today. So this New York Comic Con crowd is literally an exclusive and first time anyone ever anywhere is gonna see anything. So that's both daunting and super exciting. I think that it's super um, accurate in terms of all, it's so inside baseball. Like you'll see all of sort of the emotes that us Fortnite fans love. You'll see sort of all of the beautiful CGI that comes into building a world um, for like SimCity people and Minecraft people. All the world building is there. It's such a s slew of cast of characters for like uh, Badlands and Red Dead Redemption. Like anyone who loves those sort of like role-playing action first-person gamers is really gonna love this movie. It's my first Comic-Con and the amount of people that showed up was amazing. Thank you for your support and just to see how excited they were and the, um, the acting work like Joe and Jody, they're such great actors and Ryan obviously is like a powerhouse, but uh, this is a movie that I would see day one in theaters anyway. It's got all the things I love, Ryan Reynolds, Rail Howery, Joe Keery, Sean Levy directing, action comedy, video games, and I just happen to be in it, Taika Waititi, so it's pretty cool. As a movie fan, like as an action movie fan, to see how all this stuff works from like being thrown and I should have said it, but all types of stuff that I physically have never done before, stunt wise, to see what it takes to make that happen Incredible. was beautiful. This yeah. guy right here, oh. my gosh. The trailer looks amazing. Um, that was our first time seeing it as a cast. Man, yo, and it was just like small pieces of what you've seen. So like, for what I, I'm, my mind is blown right now. I cannot wait to see the whole movie. This is gonna be a big one, yo.